Hey everybody, it's Andrew here. Welcome to Friendly Fitness. Tonight, we're doing a totally sweet back exercise. Yesterday, I did a totally sweet pushing chest exercise. And as a result, my pushing muscles are toast. I can't even push the record button on that camera. The only way I could get it to record is by giving one of these. I hope warranty covers that kind of thing, but we'll worry about that later. That's a me problem, not a you problem. Anyways, back exercises, let's go. Totally getting warmed up before we start, of course. And once again, the whole gang is here. Heavyweights, medium weights, light weights. For all these exercises, I'm gonna let you know which is a good idea to start with. Some exercises are not realistic to do heavy weights with. Some are, I'll kind of keep you in the loop with that. But anytime you want to, you just use whatever dumbbell works for you. You can reduce the range of motion, you can take breaks anytime you want, whatever. So stay safe, let's have some sweet lifting though, and just have a good time. Before we start, I'll tell you one thing, I don't feel like doing this workout. It is cold outside, it's dark outside, I just want to curl up in a bed and sleep, but you know, as soon as I hit that start button, just like if you hit that start button, it's just gonna happen on its own. So let's just hit the start button together. Yeah, maybe we don't feel like doing this workout, but as soon as we start, the body's just gonna get inspired and we can just crush it together. So, here we go. We're starting with Cat Cow, as is tradition. I'm not starting yet, but we know all about this one by now. But if we don't, hands and knees are on the mat and we're gonna work on going for the whole range of motion on that spine. I'm gonna round my back out, take a nice deep breath, and then arch my back. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And we're gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go, no turning back. So, rounded, arching. Oof. And let the eyes kind of guide you along. So I'm looking between my knees, now I'm looking up at the seal. Taking that deep breath in each position, and if you ever want to, just explore it. Uh, just do what you gotta do to make this the best uh, for you. We're about to move on to the alternating thread, the needle. So here it comes, two seconds. All right, one hand is going through that loop. Nice deep breath, oh, back up to the top. And then the other hand, through that loop. Oh, nice deep breath. So feel that nice spinal twist going on in the spine. Think about getting that shoulder oh, a little bit closer to the floor. You can even touch the shoulder to the ground if you want to, only if you feel comfortable with it though. In six seconds, we're gonna do something kind of Kind of fun. It's called the happy baby pose. What the heck? So here we go. Let's roll onto our backs. And I'm gonna hold on to my feet. And then I'm just gonna push against my hands a little bit. You should feel that nice stretch all on the back of your legs. You don't have to straighten your legs out, but just feel that nice tension going on the back of the legs. You control it completely. I can ease off the tension by bending the knees a bit more. I can add a little bit of tension by pushing against my hands. But just feel it, you know, maybe get a nice little flashback to the good old days when you did this naturally without being told to. But anyways, let's stand up and do some body weight deadlifts. So, I'm gonna hinge forward and then come back up. So with my back, I'm really trying to not let this happen. There are a few different cues that we can use to make that happen. So chest out, shoulders back, but also keep your bum out. If I stick my bum out as much as I can, Look at that strong shape. I could lift a thousand pounds, not actually, but I feel like I could with that good posture. So practice that on the next round especially, but for now, reach for the toes, and yes, you can let the back round out this time. Ooh, come on up. Oh, we're just trying to loosen up the spine, the back. Nice deep breath at the bottom, nice and gentle on the way up. Ooh, and try not to lock the knees out. But if you go down like this, if I lock them out, I can start to get a little bit tingly and not feeling so good in my legs. But if I keep this light bent, that circulation just runs on its own, and life is good. Let's do all that again, starting with the best stretch room in the world, the cat cow. Oof, rounded, Ugh. arching, nice deep breaths Oof. at each position. We are looking after our own tempo on this one, because we know it's best for ourselves. Ugh and what pace to do this at. So don't let me rush you, don't let me hold you back. Just do what's best for you. But here comes thread the needle. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> don't let me rush you. But here's thread the needle, let's move on. You know what I mean. Uh, if there's ever a movement 
that you feel like doing for a few extra seconds, do it. Man, that is totally, totally cool. But here we are, this is our last exercise on the hands and knees uh, position. We're about to do the happy baby again. So, get ready for five seconds, uh, two, or three, <laughs> two, one. Let's do it. Holding on to those feet and just feel it. Just get that nice stretch. You can even like rock to the side a little bit. It's pretty easy to fall over if you go too far to the side though, so be careful. You could do a little bit of rocking like this too, but feel that nice pressure on your lower back. Because that, you know, I'm kind of pushing it. Whoa, almost teetered over. <laughs> I'm pushing my lower back against the mat right now. Not as a core exercise, but just because it feels good. Up we go. Man, I could have done that for the whole 45 minutes. Deadlifts. So I'm going to face this way once again. Because I'm really trying to emphasize that strong back. We are going to be doing hip hinges quite a bit tonight. So when I do that hip hinge, I definitely don't want to look like this. Because that puts too much stress back here. But if I stick my butt and my chest out and my shoulders behind me, boom, that's a nice strong shape. So that's what we're going to be striving for. When the time comes. But for now, Forget about the hip hinge. And let's do a nice gentle round out reach. Ah, and then come back up whenever you feel like. We're just trying to loosen up that spine, get comfortable being in various uh, at various angles of that upper body. So we're not going to do any lifting from this position, of course, but it is a good way to get the back loose. So we've got seven seconds left. All right, it's almost time for the real deal. Uh, okay, let's enjoy these 30 seconds of freedom because, man, we're going to lift some real stuff soon. Single arm low row. You can do this on a bench, on the side of a couch, whatever. So I'm going to grab a heavy dumbbell. And my mediums are there if I ever need them because, you know, there's, there's a high chance that I won't be able to do this for a whole minute. I like it that way. My right foot's going to be behind me. I am going to rest on that forward knee. I want to conserve my energy and give a lot of the work to the back muscles on this one. So check it out. We're starting right now for a whole minute. Elbow up, elbow down. However, when we do this, we want to try to keep the body as still as we can. Notice that I'm not throwing my body weight around. I'm keeping it nice and still, thinking about getting my elbow up, and then elbow down. Doing this for a whole minute is extremely challenging. So I'm going to do this with a slightly lower tempo. Explosive on the way up, slow on the way down. We have, oh my gosh, 25 seconds left. <laughs> That's a long time. But we came here to get tired, right? And I've got my medium dumbbell right there if I want it. Not going to lie, I want it right now. But I think I can do this for another 11 seconds. It's all about getting that elbow up. The back muscles pull that elbow up. Here we go. Three seconds. Two, one. Poof. Oof. Other side right now. I wish I'd given us a few seconds to set up, but no, we're getting right into it. So, explode up, slow on the way down. I'm going a little bit of a higher tempo now just to make up for that, you know, those few missed seconds. But now that I'm here, and now that I see we've still got 36 seconds left, I'm going to slow down a little bit and really try to keep my technique sharp and that tempo on point. It's tempting to start to swing my body weight around, but you'll notice during this set that we're doing, this block, I'm sorry, we're doing a lot of single arm back stuff. Not much time left, seven seconds. Elbow up. Two, one. Now we got 15 seconds. Okay, I'm using a medium dumbbell. I'm gonna do something very, very similar. This is gonna be called a high row. When we do a low row, elbow stays in, like so. When we do a high row, elbow goes out to the side. 45 seconds long, medium dumbbells, let's go. Out to the side, bring it back. You can limit the range of motion on this one. I'll face this way just so you can see where that elbow of mine is going. And once again, try your best not to swing the body weight around. 
whoa, or fall over. <laughs> so keep it nice and still, keep that balance, and remember that technique is always more important than the weight of the dumbbell. We want to stay safe, so lift another day. I got five seconds left. I'm gonna do my switch right now, just so I'm ready, because we're starting this high row right now. Elbow out to the side. Our back muscles are gonna be so strong after this. We'll be able to start a lot more without any gas in it. Boom! Just with pure pulling power. That thing's just gonna start no matter what. 13 seconds left. Oh. Ooh, left side is definitely a little bit weaker than my right side. That's okay. This is my lawnmower starting arm. I don't normally use my left. Two seconds. Oh. Woo. Lightweights this time. Take a few seconds to chill. This is not gonna be 45 seconds. I hope it's gonna be 30. The reverse fly. Only using one dumbbell. Very, very light. Arm's gonna stay straight this time. And here we go. Get that single arm out to the side. The shoulders are doing a lot of work on this one too. I know this because my shoulders did a lot of work yesterday and they're tired already. <laughs> so let's just keep at it. Eight more seconds on the other side. You can limit the range of motion, but I'm going to the other side right now. Woo. This block is almost over. It's really tempting to start swinging my body weight around, but I'm not gonna do it. Keep it nice and still. 15 seconds, and then the rest. There's a big diversity of uh, exercises tonight. I think you'll like it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, 30 seconds, finally. All right, that was working. My back muscles are pretty tired. I'm also pretty thirsty, so don't forget to stay hydrated. I need to remind myself sometimes. Huh. I don't even think that was a word. I need to remind myself sometimes. 10 seconds, and then we're doing some core. Eric, let's do this, our time to shine. More core. We're gonna start by doing a hollow hold, 15 seconds only, we've started. Let's go. Try to get those legs and those arms at about a 45 degree angle relative to the ground. Lower back is pressed down into the mat. Matt, your lower back better be pressed into the mat's mat. Or your mat's mat should be pressed into you, Matt. But now we gotta go into a boat hold. So balance on your bum as best you can. You can bend your knees as much as you want. Coming up in just six seconds, we're gonna do some sprinter sit up. So here we go. Dark, our favorite. Andrew, it's not my favorite anymore. Well, whatever. I'm going off of old news. So I'm coming up and reaching from opposite foot. And also, if I were to put my right foot where it normally goes, I would kick my water bottle right over that already wants to fall over. So for the next 11 seconds, I'm just gonna keep on going without knocking my water bottle over. You'll notice a bit of a pattern starting soon though. So here we go, two more seconds. I know, Jen, you're like, Andrew, that couldn't have been the workout, was it? We're not done with the core? No, we're just getting started. So that was the short part of the core. You're gonna notice some things get a bit longer, starting with hollow holds. This time we're doing 30 seconds instead of 15. So hold it as best you can. You can bend those arms and those legs if you want to, but try to keep them out straight or as straight as you can while keeping that lower back pressed down. 30 seconds in this, but don't worry. When it's time for the boat hold, it's not gonna be 30 seconds. We'll go back to the 15. Thank goodness, because I'm getting pretty tired. Three seconds. Let's do that boat hold. 15 seconds only, as best you can. And it's okay to have to take uh, breaks during this core work, this is not easy. Here we go. Let's do that sprinter setup. Instead of 30, we're doing 45 seconds. Oh, let's go. Up, 
for that opposite foot. You don't have to touch the foot. We're just reaching for it and coming back down. Oh man, 30 seconds left. So, good news or bad news, I don't know. This is the only block with sprinter sit-ups. I know, you're like, dude, but these are so great. I just wanna do these for like a whole minute. Don't worry, that's coming. <laughs> but for the next 10, we're just gonna keep doing this. Oof. Slow on the way down, explosive on the way up. Three seconds. Oof. Okay guys, this is where it gets tricky. We're gonna do a lot of core. There's gonna be a longer bow hold this time. Oh my gosh. And the hollow hold starts in three, two, one. Let's do this. Tamara, come on. Core city. I know you're like, Andrew, this is just how I sleep now. I just, I hollow hold forever. That's pretty cool. I'm working towards being able to do that. But for now, I got like 15 seconds left. <laughs> Not easy. I can feel my lower back rising up as I'm getting fatigued. But I want to get fatigued. I'm not here just to pass the time and listen to funky music, Karen. Although that is a sweet little bonus. Here comes the boat hold. <laughs> Keeping the legs straight is really tough. Bending them's a little bit easier. Do what works for you. We gotta hold this for 17 more seconds. <laughs> I can feel it. The bridge is about to collapse. But I'm not gonna hold it for another 10. Maybe I'm trying my best. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> we still have to do a whole minute of sprinter setups. Sarah, you're like, Andrew, get to work, man. What the heck, the, the timer started already. I know, <laughs> it's hard, okay? <laughs> Let's do this. <sighs> Exploding up, slow on the way down. <sighs> Dude, I can't even think of anything funny to say. This is so challenging, and <laughs> to imagine that we still have 30 more seconds of it. Uh, take breaks if you need, but uh, if you're feeling good, Karen, then just keep going. Uh, I know you got this, Alana. Karen and Alana, I hope you guys talk about this at some point. Like, dude, he made that look so hard. I think he needs to do more of his own core videos. I do, I definitely need to. But now's not the time to talk about that because we only have three, two, one, yeah. Time. Woo. This might be easier if I didn't talk so much, but hey, whatever. Everyone's got their own coping mechanisms, right? Mm. Okay, let's enjoy this short break. We just did a lot of single arm back and stuff. Now we're gonna do bilateral back stuff, stuff with both arms at the same time. Oh my gosh, hip hinge low row. Remember that deadlift we practiced? Now it's time to put that into practice. So here we go, heavy weights, a whole minute, we've started. But let's see that hip hinge, chest out, shoulders out, bum out, elbows up, elbows down. Doing this for a whole minute is extremely challenging. So take those breaks. And notice I'm not bringing the dumbbells up towards my shoulders. They're always hanging below my elbows. And I'm using my back muscles to get those elbows up. I'm not letting my biceps get too involved. Get my elbows up and back. Mama, we got 24 seconds left. I know you're in this battling right until the very end. And I know you're keeping that good posture because that's the thing you told me to do every day at the dinner table. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. Whoa, medium dumbbells. I think we're doing this one for a whole minute, which is gonna be pretty hard. I'm gonna have my light dumbbells ready to go. We're doing a reverse raise. So let's get back into hip hinge. We started right now. Ooh. With straight arms from that hip hinge, I wanna get these dumbbells behind me and then back. Try not to let them swing forward. Just from that standstill, boom. Or not standstill, from that hanging position. Then we get them up. Whew. 
keep the arms straight, keep that perfect posture. Dudes, we still have 31 seconds left. I'm gonna do two more reps, and then go to lighter weight. I gotta do some lighter weight, whoa. <laughs> Feels good though, as long as I got that good posture. I'm totally okay with going to my fatigue point. It's not a bad thing reaching that fatigue point. It's a good thing. It means we're giving the muscles the signal to get stronger. Here we go, three more seconds. Rest, <laughs> awesome. So, single dumbbell. I think I might go with my heavy one. We'll see. We're doing a pullover. Line on your back. One dumbbell. Whew. Let's give the hip hinge a little bit of a rest. And here we go. Single dumbbell. Arms are straight. Down we go. Up we go. Flex the abs on the way up. Although the back muscles are doing some work on this one. This is usually associated with core work, but I'm bringing my elbows down from an elbow up position. Whew. The back muscles help make that happen. So keep that lower back press down as best you can. Arms gotta stay straight. If the elbows bend, then the triceps start to help. And we don't want their help. I'm, no, I'm sure they're very nice and they, they're offering very politely, but no. Not today, triceps. In 15 seconds, we're gonna put this dumbbell down. You can limit your range of motion as much as you want. I'm trying not to hit the floor because I don't want my dumbbell to bounce. Here it comes. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Time. Woo. Let's put that dumbbell down. Poof. Hip hinge. Low row. Again. Not for a whole minute this time though. I'm gonna go right to my mediums. Because my back muscles are feeling pretty toasty. Oh, 30 seconds. Ah, take it back and go ahead. Let's go. So this is like a little finisher for this. Whew. Keep that good posture. We're not doing this for a long time. Those three exercises are happening 30 seconds each. We only have 11 more seconds here. Woo. Huh. Huh. Try to keep that upper body still. Two seconds, here comes the reverse raise. Ah. Whoa, I'm going right to my light dumbbells. Back muscles are feeling toasty. Ugh. Straight arms, get them up behind you. 15 more seconds, that's all. Oh, I gotta take a little breather. Woo. It's working though, that's a good sign. Here we go, four more seconds of the pullover. I'm gonna get on the floor right now. Here it comes. Last exercise in this block. One dumbbell. Arms straight. Let's go. We don't have a lot of time. 15 seconds left, that's what I'm talking about. Here comes Tara, the big finish of this block. Before we can get back to work. I hope you have a different playlist than your rowing tunes. But I hope it's even more intense. <laughs> oh my gosh, chill. Woo ah. That was sweet. Take 30 seconds and relax. Oh. Ah. It's work. I got the sweat pouring down. I turned the heat off because uh, I didn't want that blasting me during the workout, but I don't think I need it. Okay. We're gonna do our core block again. There will be a little bit of a twist, but not yet. Let's have to see what it is when we get there. Let's start by doing that hollow hold though. Whew, let's do it right now. 15 seconds only. Hey, that's more like it. Whew. So just commit to that good form. 15 seconds only. And then we're doing the boat hold. Again, 15 seconds only. But let's hit it as best we can. Hmm. We're not doing the sprinter setup. We're gonna do the bicycle this time. Huh. So here it comes, three seconds. All right, 30 seconds of bicycle. Elbow goes to opposite knee, alternate, alternate, alternate. But we really want to rotate that torso. I'm not just doing this, I don't know what that is. That's like an old school bicycle kick. This is the 21st century. Whew. We're going elbow to opposite knee, 
and twist in that torso each time. You don't have to touch the knee, we're just aiming for it. You can lessen the range of motion or do whatever you want. But here comes a draw rest right now. Woo! Cool. All right. I think we know what's going to happen though. The hollow hold's going to get longer, the boat hold will not, and then the, uh, the bicycle will become longer. A longer bicycle, like a tandem bicycle? You know what I mean. Here we go. So holding on to that. I know you got this dark. I can see it. Your stoic gaze, your sleeveless t-shirt, your muscles just escaping. So here we go. Oh man. Seven more seconds. And then we're doing the boat hold. Alright. Bolt hold, this is only 15. Hold it as best you can. Legs straight if you dare. Bend the knees if you want. We're about to do that bicycle again. Three seconds. Alright. Bicycle time. Let's go. Speaking of bicycle time, love that new spinning bike you got. Our weapons. The real deal. Building up some serious speed for when the summer rolls around. Dudes, I'm feeling tired right now. Ugh. Jen, I can hear your voice. You can do it, Andrew. Hang in there. I know, thank you. <laughs> I'm doing my best, lady. But in 15 seconds, we're getting that short breather. Really fighting uh, to get that big rotation in. Here it is. Five seconds. Two, three, two, one. Whoa. Man, the thought of doing a 30 second hollow hold and a 30 second boat hold right now, whew, pretty tough. But I'm just gonna do my best. It's okay if I have to take a little break. We started. Whew. Hollow hold for 30. <laughs> Try not to let that back arch. Mine wants to so badly right now, but I'm like pushing my lower back against the mat. Look, not you, Matt, but this mat. Anyway, here we go. Two, one. Let's see that boat hold. Oof, last time we're doing this one for a while. Just balance on that bum as best you can. We got this, guys. Come on, we're in this together. Alana, I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> Last few seconds, and then the bicycle for a whole minute. Three, two, one. <laughs> Can't even speak. Okay, we're in. We're in this. Oof. Bicycle, a whole minute, and then the rest. Man, I cannot believe that it's been, a, it's been like almost 30 minutes since we were chit-chatting during the warm-up. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got this. We got this. <laughs> You're like, Andrew, I'm doing just fine. You're the only one taking breaks around here. Well, that's great, guys. But we're all just doing our best, man. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Okay, 17 seconds left. I can do this. Whew. I can do anything for 17 seconds. I can hold my breath. I could commit to doing my taxes on time. All sorts of stuff. <sighs> but as soon as 18 seconds happens, three, two, one. Whoa. Break. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait to get back to those back muscles. Mm. Okay. Core's done for a little bit. We get 17 more seconds of rest. We are doing some more low rows, however, we're gonna be alternating. So, I got both dumbbells in my hands. I'm gonna go heavy, but I got my mediums just in case I need them. Oh man, three seconds. Ah. Let's go. So I'm gonna hip hinge, and now I'm gonna get my right dumbbell up, left dumbbell up. But while I do this, I'm trying to keep my body as still as possible. 
So I'm not letting my shoulders go from side to side. I'll face you this way. Look at my shoulders. I'm not letting them roll from left to right. I'm doing my best to keep them still and use only my back muscles to get those dumbbells up. We're doing this for another 25 seconds. Keep it up. Keep that chest out, keep that bum out. That's how we stay safe. So we keep the back nice and safe. Last few seconds. We got eight. Here we go. Three, two, one. Great work. Superman, let's do this. No dumbbells. Thank gosh. I'm gonna be lying on my stomach. Face this way. And now I'm gonna get all limbs up. My legs, my arms, we're just gonna go. And then down. Get them up. And then down. That's it. Now, if this doesn't feel good, you can always do alternating bird dog. Instead, we want to keep those hips as still as possible. So this is an option, but if you're feeling good about it, let's just work on that lower back. And the hamstrings. And get them up. And then down. Even trying for that slight pause at the top. And remember to breathe. Try not to hold your breath on this one. It's not the biggest range of motion in the world. But get them up, get them down. Feeling the lower back, doing work. 10 seconds. All right, take that 15 second breather, well done. Hip bridge pullover. We've done the pullover before with that single dumbbell on our straight arms. But this time, I want my bum in the air. So, hips up, keep them up, and then let's get that pullover done. So, keep your glutes tight, keep your arms straight, keep breathing, <laughs> and let's just rock and roll. If this doesn't feel good on the neck, just put your hips back down. That's totally fine. But we don't want our weight on the neck. We want it on our shoulder blades and our upper back. So, arms straight, we got this. Try not to let the dumbbell touch the floor. We're doing this for another 27 seconds. And then that short break. And I'm not letting the dumbbell go below my chest. I'm not going down this way. So right over the chest, that's our stopping point, slash starting point. And then we go from the rep, or go to the rep from there. And glutes and hams doing work. Let's keep that bum up nice and high. Love it. Take a short break. Oh, oh, <laughs> take a long break actually. That wasn't the last uh, back block, so don't get your hopes up or anything. But, coming up, we do have the last core block. So, in like 10 seconds, we're gonna start the, the short round. So, we can do this, guys. We can do this, we can do this. I'm gonna get my big dumbbell out of the way. I'm gonna put it back here. Oh, I'm gonna shake the whole house as I do that. Let's hollow hold, hold 15 seconds only. All right, boat hold. 15 seconds feels like a piece of cake now. Actually, it's still pretty hard, but compared to 30 seconds, I'll take it. So holding on to it. Coming up, it's not a sprinter setup, it's not a bicycle. We're doing the dead bug. So here we go. 30 seconds. <sighs> Knees and hands pointing up at the ceiling. Right arm, left leg down. Alternate. <sighs> we always come back to the boom, starting position. But try to get that leg close to the floor. You'll feel it in the lower abs as you get that straight leg close to the floor and then bring it up. You can maintain that bend in the knee if you want to, up to you. Just do its best and what makes the core muscles burn the most. But we do want to keep that lower back press down. Take a short break, 15 seconds, okay. Second round, 30 seconds hollow hold coming up. Oh my gosh. Here we go guys, in this together. Let's see it. 30 seconds. 
Hollow hold. <sighs> Nothing to it but to do it. Sarah, we've been doing this for a long time. Whew. We're basically like a hollow hold. Come on, sir, at this point. Oh, so just keep doing you. Whew. And Jen, <laughs> I know you're like, oh, the, the workout started? Oh, oh, I guess I'll join in. No, you're probably just recovering from a 10K sprint right now. Two more seconds. Boat hold. 15 seconds only. <laughs> no problem. I can hold a boat for 15 seconds. No big deal. Try to keep the legs straight, though. All right, dead bug 45, huh. Dead bug 45, sounds like a, a weird television product. But anyways, <laughs> let's do this. Feeling it in the lower abdominals. Is that leg as close to the floor? Let me pull it back up. Dudes, <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> I could always lessen the range of motion if I wanted to. I'm gonna try not to. What am I talking about? I gotta take a short breather. Ooh, 13 seconds. <laughs> We're good. It's amazing how, like, sometimes the body just has to stop. But, you know, as we get better at this, I'm learning about myself too. We can totally push past those moments, even if it's just for a few seconds. Still totally awesome when we can hang on for a little bit longer than we think we could. Hmm. With that said, here comes the tough one. 30 second hollow hold. Let's go. As you get fatigued, you might start to do this. That's fine, but remember, it is a bit easier than this 45 degree angle. Keeping that lower back pressed down. I can feel mine slipping a little bit. Last few seconds. Boat hold, 30. This is the last boat hold we're doing tonight. <laughs> All right, try to keep those legs straight as best you can. I'm talking to myself right now. Keep them straight, Andrew, you can do this. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Here we go, three. <laughs> and let's do a whole minute of dead bug. The last thing I feel like doing right now. Whew. That's right. I feel like doing taxes before doing this minute of dead bug. But you know what? This isn't a tax video. Let's go. <laughs> Not like I would ever watch Andrew's tax video. It would probably just be me putting it off for a few months. But whatever. We're not talking about that. <laughs> My body feels like taking a break right now. I'm really gonna try just to push a little bit further. Even if it means slowing down my reps by quite a bit. Oh my gosh, 11 more seconds, no problem. <laughs> no more dead bug, okay. Awesome guys, we're almost there. Last back block, here we come. <sighs> so, I know we've done a lot of hip hinge low rows, and we're doing another one, but this time, instead of having our hands in a neutral position, like you're holding a steering wheel at nine o'clock, three o'clock, we're gonna have them in a reverse grip. So my palms are gonna face away from me. Where are my heavy weights? Here they are. Ugh. A whole minute. I'm totally gonna go to my mediums at some point, but let's hip hinge. Elbows up, elbows down. Palms facing away. So I'm gonna face you for a sec. My palms are facing you. Whew. I'm still getting my elbows up. If this was, if I was holding onto a broomstick, I'd be bringing that broomstick pretty much into my lower ribs. So get those elbows up. We've got 30 more seconds. Oh my gosh, I don't know how much longer I can do this one for, but I'm gonna do my best. <sighs> Always keep my good posture. That's something we never want to lose track of. <sighs> mm. 
elbows up, chest out, bum out, seven more seconds. Love that noise, oh, oh, no more of that. We're doing some shrugs though, this is a little bit different. We're gonna be in a totally upright position. We're gonna work on the traps, these muscles on the side of the neck. Man, that one took it out of me, but here we go. For a whole minute, just standing up. Try not to put too much tension in the arms. Shoulders up, shoulders down, that's it. Now, your grip, your forearms might be kind of tired. That's fine, those forearms have muscles too, and we're working on them. So, personally, I find it a little bit more comfortable to keep my eyes a little bit down on this one. Almost like you're counting the droplets of sweat falling off your nose. Oh, 22 seconds. Man, my forearms are toast right now. But I got a few more seconds left. Oh, down. Slow it up. Down. Here it comes. Okay, eight seconds. Can't wait to put these things down. Okay, arrested Superman. No more dumbbells for this next one, so let those forearms rest. The arrested Superman is very similar to the Superman we already did, except let's try to have the hands sort of here, just like we're getting arrested. So get them up, get them down. Whew. We don't want the arms that way out like this. Keep them tight. Almost like you're a DJ keeping your headphones on. That's what we'll call this from now on. DJ keeping your headphones on. <laughs> Superman. <sighs> Get them up. <sighs> that pause at the top if you want. Only have 11 more seconds. I think I said we were doing this for a minute, but that must have been 45. I'll take it. <laughs> that means the next one's gonna be 30 seconds long. <sighs> Am I right? I think so. Reverse flies. This could be our final back exercise. Seven seconds. Let's get some light dumbbells in hand. Hip hinge. Arms are straight. And for 30 seconds only, out we go to the side. And this is our final exercise before the stretch. So think about getting those shoulder blades closer together at the top. You can limit the range of motion if you want to, but these dumbbells are not going behind me. They're not going in front of me. They're going right up to the side. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades as best I can. Here we go, five seconds. Last one. Awesome, oh my gosh. Chill, 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 chill. No more dumbbells, no more exercise. All we gotta do is stretch it out. I love it. Grab a sip of water. Do what you got to do. Oh. Okay. So this exercise is called the, the self-hug. And all I'm gonna do is make my back muscles long by just trying to wrap myself around my own arms. It's like that, like that thing kids did in middle school to make it look like you were smooching someone, you know? But just try to do that self-hug Take those deep breaths and feel your back muscles getting long. So nice deep inhales. We're both about to do an alternating overhead reach. Okay. Right arm is going up and over. Feel the right side of the body getting long. And then switch it up. I'm putting my hand on my hip for support because I don't want to use my muscles to keep myself up. I've done, I'm done with those muscles. I just want to relax now. Ooh. Nice deep breaths. Okay, we're about to do child's pose. So let's get down on the mat right now. Ooh. Arms straight. And then sink the heels, or sorry, the bum close to the heels. Forehead to the mat. And take deep breaths. Oh, and feel your back muscles getting long. Your arms getting nice and long. Ooh. 
we're about to focus on one side. So I'm going to stay doing child's pose. But I'm going to walk my hands out to the right. So here it comes. Let's do it right now. Stay in child's pose. But walk your hands out to the right. Take some nice deep breaths slowly. And feel the left side of your back. Getting that nice stretch. We're about to do the other side. Here we go. Walking the hands out to the other side. If I walk into the left, I feel it on the right. Oh, deep, deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Ooh, what's next? Oh, yeah. The cat cow. Life is good. Round it out. Oh, arching it. Rounding it. Do a little funny thing if you need to. And then arching it. Doing a little funny thing if you need to. This is your stretch. Do what you got to do. Do what your body needs. But in less than 10 seconds, we are done with this workout. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, that was legit. For a few exercises, I was like, I don't know, man, this is pretty tough stuff. Maybe I'll have to use some fancy you know, special effects to distract you guys from my breaks, but no, we did it. It's done, the back muscles are toast, the core muscles are toast. And all you gotta do now is get some water in you, of course my finger, get some water in you, get some protein, not the weird stuff, but the healthy stuff. I'm not a nutritionist, so don't get the weird stuff. And if this is your thing, get a delicious cup of coffee. You deserve it. Um, sleep's also really important. So, as always guys, I'm going to do all that stuff right now, and uh, I hope you had a good time. So, the workout's done, went by really fast, and now we just get to chill. So, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, I'm Andrew. This is Friendly Fitness. You guys rock. Peace. Whew.